Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is Acid Rain and Its Effects. Now this is chapter number 14 Atmosphere from class 10. From where this acid rain comes? Basically, acidic gases are the cause of acidic rain. These acidic gases release into the atmosphere and carried upward with the help of wind. Gases combine with water droplets to form acids and come to the earth in the form of acid rain. Now here the question arises that what are the causes of acidic gases? So these gases comes from combustion, from fossil fuels, by industries, by vehicles and so many other human activities. Let's discuss their effects one by one. Now we're going to start with fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are the remainings of humans, plants and other living organisms which are buried under the earth thousands and millions years ago. Now these fossil fuels will come out after million years in the form of gases, petrol, diesel, which we use as a fuel. When we burn this fossil fuel, it produces oxides of sulfur and nitrogen. And definitely, as these are gases, they will gonna move into air. Now the rainwater converts sulfur dioxide into sulfuric acid. And this happened in a multiple steps. First of all, sulfur dioxide changes into sulfurous acid. And then, due to the presence of oxygen, it gets oxidized into sulfuric acid, the king of chemicals. While if I talk about NO2, what gonna be happened with it? It change into nitric acid and nitrous acid. If I talk about normal rainwater, it's weakly acidic because it just consists of dissolved carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide dissolved in water, it changes into carbonic acid. And its pH is not that much acidic, it's just about 5.6 to 6. Not that much harmful effects on buildings and humans. But the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen have quite harmful effects on all the society and all the things which are present all around it. So let's discuss about them. So in a nutshell, rainwater on dissolving air pollutants becomes more acidic and its pH reduces to 4. Now as for carbonic acid, it's gonna be from 5.6 to 6. But 4 is quite acidic. Now acid rain is formed on dissolving acidic air pollutants such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide by rainwater. If you take a keen notice of this picture, you will come to know that industries and vehicles are the main causes of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. So industries should be planted out of the urban area. Now these sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide will change into acidic forms. Sulfuric acid and nitric acid when they combine with hydrogen. And acid particles and gases will change into acid rain and acid snow. Now after conversion to acids, 
sulfuric acid, nitrous acid and nitric acid. It dissolves in rainwater and damages soil, animals, plants and aquatic life. This diagram is showing sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides from exhaust of automobile and industrial units. The pollutant gases travel long distances. They react with water to form acids. And these acids are present in clouds. The acids dissolve in rainwater and fall as acid rain. Now this acid rain will damage buildings, trees and aquatic life. How it damages trees, buildings and aquatic life? Acid rain washes salts out of the top soil depriving trees of nutrients. Definitely all the minerals will go away with the acid rain. And the acidity and the metal salts in the lake increases due to acid rain. And that's why in the result fishes will gonna die. Now if we talk about effects of acid rain. Acid rain on soil and rock leaches heavy metals like aluminium, mercury, lead and chromium and discharges these metals into rivers and lakes. Now rivers and lakes don't require these metals. This water is used by human beings for drinking purposes. Then what gonna be happened? These metals accumulate in human body and reaches to toxic level. And on the other hand, definitely, if it entered into the water, aquatic life, yes, aquatic life present in lakes also suffers because of higher concentration of these metals, especially high concentration of aluminium ions clogs the fish gills. It causes suffocation and ultimately death of fish. Acid rain attacks the calcium present in marble and limestone of buildings and monuments. Thus, these buildings are getting dull and eroded day by day. Acid rain increases the acidity of soil. Many crops and plants cannot grow in such soil. It also increases the toxic metals in the soil that poison the vegetation. Even old trees are affected due to the acidity of soil. Their growth is retarded. They get dry and die. By these pictures, you are able to understand the effect of acid drain on forests and on trees. Acid rain directly damages the leaves of trees and plants, thus limiting their growth. Depending upon the severity of the damage, plant growth can be hampered. Plants' capability to resist cold or diseases reduces and ultimately to die. So there are so many effects of acid rain. It's quite simple that just by controlling land pollution, air pollution and soil pollution, we can easily handle the effects of acid rain. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.